Hey, this is Tristan at Hip Cooks, and we are in West Los Angeles at our Hip Cooks Cooking School. And today, I'm going to show you how to prepare frozen corn on the cob. So, if you have a hankering for corn on the cob, and it is not the season, the frozen corn on the cob can do the trick. So, I've got a pack here of four, and let me grab my knife. Pack here of four. And there are multiple ways to cook corn on the cob. You can do it in the microwave, you can do it in the oven, you can do it in a pot of boiling water. I've chosen the oven because I feel that's the best way to do it myself. Um, putting it in a big cauldron of water can work, but imagine this. You take half hour to boil the water, and then you put in four big honks of ice into the water. It's just gonna drop that temperature again, and then you have to wait another 20 minutes to get that corn um, hot and cooked. So that tends to take a long time. All right, so frozen corn on the cob. Butter, salt, pepper, tin foil, that's what you need. I've set the oven to 425. All right, so one corn, bit of butter for flavor. If you don't want butter, you don't need to do butter. You can use um, Pam, actually or nothing. It's up to you. Just put the butter face up. You don't need to get it all the way around. The butter will melt down onto the other sides of the corn. Sprinkle some salt and pepper for taste and flavor. If you want to add any other seasoning, you can do that. Whatever you like the taste of, put on your corn. And then we'll wrap them up. Okay, I have my corn wrapped and it's ready to go into the oven. Have ready a cookie sheet on hand to put on the rack underneath the corn, just in case you get any drippings that can avoid an extra mess in your oven. Okay. Hey, all right, the corn has been in for 30 minutes. I checked it at 20, it needed a bit more time, so I left it in for 30 and it's ready to come out now. All right, they are hot. They are sizzling. Okay, so they're ready to open. Be careful, they will be hot. Maybe have some tongs at ready just in case. And then um, watch out for any steam too. All right, the butter has melted. That's looking good. So they're ready to go onto a plate. If you'd like to give them a sprinkle with fresh herbs that you cooked them with, or just extra fresh herbs because it would look nice, certainly do that. Um, an additional sprinkle of salt would be good as well. Or you can just let your guests season them as they wish. And that is how to cook frozen corn on the cob. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. If there are any other dishes you'd like to see me prepare, please send us an email at requestatmahalo.com. And in the meantime, check out our other videos.